Hello, Auggies Worldwide. Good morning. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Now, this time what we're going to do is answer questions that I've gotten from lots of hams who seem to have the same question. They buy a wide range tuner, then put up an ordinary dipole, and they say, usually a 40 meter dipole, and they say, I can tune it on any band. Well, if you get a wide range tuner, you can tune anything on any band. However, what I want to show you is why if you have a 40 meter dipole, you're really only going to have luck getting out on 40 meters and 15 meters. Now, one of the problems with using these high powered tuners is that they can actually tune into themselves. In other words, all the energy goes into the antenna tuner and is dissipated by the antenna tuner and you don't get anything out to the antenna. Now I have a uh, little pictures from some modeling that I want to show you. Let's take a look at it. All right this is from EZNEC. These are the inputs right here. Uh, it's a backyard dipole so it's fed in the center and it is the correct length for 7 megahertz to give us the the low SWR that we can want on 40 meters. Now I put the thing up only 30 feet. The more ideal height for a 40 meter antenna would be 66 feet, but it's at 30 feet. So we're gonna see some issues here. Let's look over in the SWR box. We see here we have infinite and it comes down to a two to one SWR at the seven megahertz point. This is where the system is tuned. It's a 40 meter antenna. At 50 meters it comes back down again to about 2.5 to 1. Now this you can tune with the wide range tuner actually with the tuner that's in your radio built in that will get anything under 3 to 1 and you'll have excellent results on 40 meters and on 15 meters. Now the elevation pattern is a little weird because this is a low antenna but what I want you to notice is what happens on the other bands. Okay, this will not tune three and a half megahertz at all. It will not tune 20 meters or 30 meters. They're way up in here. And it won't do 17 meters, but it will do 15 simply because it's the third harmonic here, an odd harmonic. And then it goes back up here for 10 meters, which is right in this area, okay? 12 meters is somewhere over here. Note that most of the frequencies here, the antenna is out of tune and will not respond. So what this means is that if you've got a wide range tuner and you're tuning a, a 40 meter dipole on 20, you're dealing with a very, very high SWR. Now the tuner can in fact tune it, but the problem is there will be so much standing wave power on the transmission line that you can heat the transmission line because very little is going out of the antenna. It may look good on your meters, but you're not getting good transmission. So if you want to transmit uh, on other bands, you could try an off-center fed dipole, you could try an in-fed dipole, but an ordinary center fed dipole is pretty stubborn about wanting to work on the band for which it is cut. So just a word of warning to those of you who think that your wide range automatic tuner is tuning it, that in fact, what you're doing is radiating most of the power over the lines. So there you have it. I hope you find that helpful. And until we next meet, 73.